Good morning and welcome back to Alma, Missouri. In the Missouri farm, it's the beginning of December and the snows have begun. The weather or the forecast looks a little weird. It says like the current temperature is like in the 40s, but it's snowing and, and the time beyond is like in the negatives and so I don't know. I think it's I think it's colder than what it says the current temperature is. I'm exercising rain right now. Uh, King's already been ridden. I've got a couple of trailer loads of uh, alfalfa hay loaded up here, ready to go into town so strange things <laughs> with the prices uh the alfalfa hay still looks good but remember how corn dried corn was good in december and in june well, that's changed the bottoms dropped out of it so we're gonna have to hold the dried corn probably till june <sighs> i was counting on that being uh money coming in sorghum also looked like it was supposed to be a uh, seasonal high in December. Looks like that's delayed until January. So the only thing I have I can sell right now is going to be the alfalfa hay and maybe some firewood. I went and I cut uh, three more trees like I said I was going to do yesterday. Uh, game actually crashed on me when I was doing that off camera. I ended up having to do that twice. I was kind of ham fisting around. I couldn't remember the controls for the winch. I don't know. Maybe my inputs overwhelmed the game or something. So, gonna have to be careful, I guess. Let's see. Oh, we did not get that field cultivated, so that's gonna be something we're gonna have to do. What did we take off of there? That was soybeans, wasn't it? So, oats are gonna go in that field. Soybeans and the one we had corn in, and then I guess we'll put corn in this big one here. Is that all our fields? I think so. The small one over there, we're just going to do corn in that one too. All right. Well, I don't know if there's much of a hurry to do anything. We'll probably cut some more wood today. The uh, firewood production went through all the firewood, or, or all the wood that we had cut, the trees that we had put in. But it's also pretty full, so we'll have to go sell the bales first. so that we can use the pickup to go get some um, firewood, load firewood on the F-350. That's King. Where's, where's Rain at? I didn't see her out here. Where is she? Oh, there. I guess we could get three more horses today. Have them delivered in. Oh, come on. I'm not getting the okay, grooming's done, I think, for both. Let me let me come in here by the tack, we'll check the animal menu. Alright. Everything looks okay. Since the horse is taken care of, we will hop in the gator here. Didn't leave it in first person, oddly enough. <laughs> so 
so we'll just roll with it. So I loaded up the two oldest uh, what loads of alfalfa hay, and then I think we'll take one more. That'll leave us with um, one trailer load of each type of bale that we have here. One of alfalfa hay, one of hay, regular grass hay, and one of straw. And then maybe we can think about doing something with the silage bales, I suppose. Um, this I keep saying I gotta empty this out I, I gotta empty that out all right let's check on the cattle so the health yeah down to 35,000 what are they eating about 5,000 a day I don't know I don't know well, I think I might have room for the rest of that straw I'll have to get the 4755 over here hook it up see if we can empty the feed wagon out. I guess, shoot, probably take these into town. Let's, uh, Inside the building here, out of the weather. I don't know what I was doing there. Is there a light switch in here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. All right, so let's take a look at the price of the alfalfa hay. And we'll we'll look at the weather too while we're in here. So see how it says the current temperature is 48, but it's like what between eight and nine o'clock. To the right, when you see the forecast says minus 10 and minus three. So I don't necessarily believe the 48. Okay, prices for alfalfa hay it's 202, seasonal high. In January 205 I think I'll take the <laughs> I'll take the chance on selling some now so look at the dried corn let me go up to it here look at the dried corn what happened so we're gonna have to hold it till June that's not great but I suppose and then let me scroll all the way up to the sorghum So here's a sorghum. So now January 9:32, and it's currently, yeah, best is 9:16. So we're gonna have to hold the sorghum for a while. The soybeans we know we're holding until what um, June time frame. So now we know soybeans and dried corn in June. We're not gonna have. A ton of money. Oh, yeah. We're going to take this load. We'll take the one on this one first. I think what I can do is I can probably take one load, and then maybe go cut some firewood or some wood, and then take another load. And then maybe I didn't even look at the firewood prices. And it's probably going to snow from now until March. <laughs> so yeah, we need to get out there and cut some more wood if we're going to. Once the snow starts accumulating, we won't be able to see the trees buried in the snow to 
pick them up. So best do it now before the snow starts accumulating on the ground. We'll see if we can get away with uh, what the uh, snow plow. Keep the yard clear, but we'll probably have to lease a snow blower again. I'm not doing great on money. We got what? Not even eight thousand dollars. And I think we're still owe 140. <laughs> We'll stop by the shop when we're in town. Just check on used equipment. I want to kind of show you. I have an idea what's in there. It might still be there. Uh, not something I want to buy. I just wanted to show you what what the game's doing to me right now. So for the winter time, I don't think we're going to have really much to do other than sell the firewood next month, maybe the sorghum. I guess we could use a seed treatment to make seed, but uh, it's snowing. Probably not a good idea. We'll probably wait till the spring to do that. And that's what we're going to use the oats for. I don't know if we want to sell the oats. Because we'll need those for the horses and also for making seed. mess I can make of this. <laughs> a little bit it's just it it goes too much I turned the wheels too far I think that might be part of it it's hard not to <laughs> uh, it's already too far gone. See, I think I'm too close to the livestock load point. I'll try it. We'll see what happens. Alright, so let's get on the side the sun's on. I think this will be unload bales. Unload bales here. Yeah. Exactly what I thought was going to happen. Happen. This could go really sideways for me.
these bales start falling off. It's just gonna be a mess. <laughs> this is, oh God. Really, I'm sorry about this. <laughs> this is horrible. One more. Just make it go away. <laughs> make the bad man stop. I don't know, we started with 8,000. I think we got um, nearly 32 now. Uh, that was awful. Incredibly awful. I think I have to reset. It's an insult to injury. You know, let's just park a tractor on Main Street. Oh, a snowman. That's nice. Another one. Good morning. So check this out. These silos. They keep offering me these silos. This one's got mineral feed in it. I'm not doing total mix ration, and I don't often do the mineral feed, and that would be probably a heck of a lot more than I would need. Although... If I filled my cow barn up with beef cattle, which I don't have the money to do anyway, I should get some more of them. I got $32,000, kind of. Let's get back out and uh, cut some trees. Oh. <clears throat> what happened? I caught the curb. Something. It yanks me. <laughs> wow. Not in the good. We're having a heck of a time here today. So I had figured I'd better do a time lapse, otherwise I wasn't going to get anywhere. So here's what I've been thinking of how to approach the forest here. I'm going to keep taking trees out around like this side, working my way towards the back. So I'll probably take like these three, one, two. Three. Then in the spring, I can come in here and plant like this whole edge of the woods. 
and then next we'll work our way around this side here towards the back and then we can plant trees over here and they'll grow and then we'll work our way back in the middle and then maybe we'll be ready to repeat. I don't know how quick these pines will grow, but hopefully quickly. <laughs> oh, let's see. I think drop it that way. I don't know if we're going to get out here and uh, get a chance to grind these stumps before they disappear in the snow. finish limbing this one on the ground or after we pull it out I don't like this <laughs> oh I hope we can get it out of that tree <laughs> oh dang it that that wasn't wasn't what I wanted to do but I guess that's <sighs> what happened could have done that better This one. There, that worked. That one worked. To so get on the tree, you kneel down, and then you walk down the tree, and that's how you end up limbing it. Okay. And then I suppose this one? How are we gonna, how are we gonna drop that? particularly well, did it? Pull for oh man, this was like on the stump. Can I pull it off that stump. Yeah, got it. And then. of this. Nope, not that. Okay, there we go. Okay, go grab the cable again. Take it over to this one. Uh, we'll get the last one. Oh, we got it. Okay. 
Come on, don't get stuck. And then, let's see, chainsaw. Okay. I think I should be able to reach them all, maybe. Okay. the field again. I got a tough time getting going though when I do this. It only wants to go about seven, eight miles an hour. I don't know if there's a way to pull logs up tighter to the uh, We'll just deal with it. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how, how much longer it's going to be before the snow starts accumulating. But once it does, we won't be able to see the trees or the stumps out there. I'll probably just leave those three stumps until next spring and I'll go go get them but we'll see if maybe I have time to cut more trees or not so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll process these we'll get them into the firewood production we'll go sell the uh, next trailer load of alfalfa hay bales then we can take the F-350 loaded up with firewood I didn't check the price of firewood I should do that the logs go a little wonky if you turn with any speed I don't know why why do they drag out to the side like that So you gotta be careful when you're around equipment because they'll, they'll swing out way wide and so I don't want to hit my roller here. Come on, straighten out again. There we go. Want to get them? I suppose that's probably good. Well, I guessed correctly. <laughs> Pretty pleased with how how well I was remembering the controls here. So I should put them all even. Oh, careful. So we can cut them. And then we'll load them into the uh, firewood production. So put the winch away. Need the weight.
and then the log grab. Been having pretty decent luck with this grab. Hopefully, I didn't just jinx it. to make my best guess on where to where to cut these trees out. job or not but This is a little difficult. I want to get them up. I'm trying to... There we go. Ooh, that's heavy. Let's get them low. I think I made them a little long. Ooh. Yeah, I got, got them a little long this time. I got enough room. I think so. Got them on there pretty good. These ones are a little tougher. They're a little, um, smaller hopefully it won't screw this up there we go okay nope. didn't lose them Careful. 
to hit the truck or the trailer. And then the narrow ones. Now these are small enough I can pick them up by hand, but they're way over there, so I'll try and do it with the grab. Last time, one of them kind of went off to the side. I had to go back and get it. So sometimes this works pretty good, sometimes it doesn't. I got them. I'm actually pretty pleased with the way that came out. Go ahead and we'll drop that right there. I guess we'll put the tractor away for now. spikes back on it. Everything's so cold. Alright, so we should be able to hit the trigger right around here. That quote-unquote sells the wood, which puts it into the production. And we can come over here and we should be able to turn it back on. It's running. So we'll have to start. I think that's as much room as it has for six. So we'll have to start selling some of those. So yeah, it's what, 11 o'clock? Tell you what, that sounds good. We'll go get the F 350. We'll take those bales in and then we'll be in town and we can go to. Mama Joe's for lunch. Now we can find out how much money we get for a load of alfalfa hay bales. I'm gonna say, since we were around eight before, it's gonna be like $24,000. That's my guess. Oh, I thought I lost the bale. It's just that there's a little bit of a gap there. Yeah, they are a little sloppy at the end there. I 
nice to get this out of the way early before the roads get snow covered. So if we're going to have to wait till January on the sorghum, I don't know what we're going to do the rest of December. Once the snow comes, we got one more load of alfalfa hay we can sell. Which trailer should we load it on? <laughs> I'm thinking the other one just because it's easier. Check the price of the firewood too. Should be pretty good this time of year though. Actually, I should load this one again because this one's so much easier to back. <laughs> so much easier to back than the other one. I think if I get it right back here like this, should be alright. Okay, so I think if I take the tension straps off, it should sell. There we go. Uh, 21504 plus 2670. So call it 22 plus 2, 24, yeah, about pretty darn close, 24,000. I don't think I could have guessed any better than I did. Kind of early for lunch. It's okay. We'll get an early lunch. Um, I'll swing by the store just to see if anything's come up, but I don't think it's probably changed. get very close to the curb, did I? <laughs> there. Whoa. How about right there? Right, that's good. I don't think it changed, but who knows? It's the same. Hmm, oh, there's so many. We'll get an early lunch. 
We'll go get some firewood. Lots of snow, man. We'll get some firewood and then uh, we'll come sell that. We'll check the price while we're in at lunch. So firewood's going for 646 per thousand liters right now. Seasonal high looks like it's in actually in January. Hmm. Well, I've got to move. I think I need to move some of it. So that we could have space to make some more. But I think as long as the weather's holding, maybe we can get out and cut three more trees. As long as the snow doesn't start to accumulate, we should be all right. We might be good until tomorrow. I think three more trees is probably as far as I'm gonna go, though. And if if uh, weather permitting, I'd go out and grind the stumps.
Well, it didn't go nearly as smoothly as it did the first time. <laughs> oh, well. That's all right. Let's see. Um, let's go get those stumps before the snow starts accumulating. This compact track loader is about slow as all get out, though. on over to the Quonset hut. <laughs> Grab that slump grinder. This is about as fast backwards as it is forwards. You know, I really wanted to get the Bobcat. The mod that's the Bobcat, but I'm actually pretty happy with this purchase of the uh, compact track loader. I mean, it would have been cooler if it was the Bobcat, but you know. When stuff comes up used, you kind of got to take advantage of what you can get. So if we wanted a compact track loader. Would have preferred that it was the Bobcat, but, you know, the New Holland is one that came up used. We were able to buy it. It's a nicer loader than the Bobcat is, I think. Um, and we paid about the same price, so. Hey, I want me to turn these lights off. I wonder what was so bright. So we'll run out to our little woods. And we'll get those stumps. Nice and smooth through here, so we don't hit anything. Fortunately, the auger is tall enough that we can get through with uh, a lot of the machinery and still get under it, not have to move it out of the way. So it's nice. So it'll come in handy when we need to offload that or, uh, you know, load the trailer out of the uh, flat bottom bin. So yeah, a little bit of a bummer that uh, we're not going to be able to sell the dried corn until next June, so it puts a little damper on how I wanted the income stream to go this winter. But we've got one more load of alfalfa hay bales to sell, so that'll be about $24,000. That'll take us up to nearly 80. And then the sorghum, which I thought we were gonna sell in December, but we'll be able to sell in January, that's that should be quite a bit. I don't remember how much it was. It's certainly going to be $100,000, maybe even $150,000. So we'll still be able to pay off the loan, but we won't have as high of a bank balance as I would prefer going into the new year. There's some things that we'll probably need to buy and some things we'll want to buy. But... 
Ah, well, we're doing all right. So I'm gonna strap this, hop in the loader. I'm gonna get these stumps ground before the snow starts accumulating and buries them. And then we can start fresh in the new year. I won't have to worry about coming out here and uh, grinding the stumps and we'll be able to explore how we can plant trees. I don't think I've planted trees in FS22 yet. I did in FS19 quite a bit on uh, Six Ashes a lot of trees in and I think in the Brazilian uh, the South Brazilian let's get I think I got six I need to do trees that we cut since we had come out here and already grown the stumps up. I've kind of figured out why I was having trouble with the loader before. Uh, I think I had the, the left joystick pushed to one side to turn because I wanted to turn once I started going. And kind of, you need to get your forward momentum you need to turn in place like that uh, before you can get going. So if you try and do both at the same time, it doesn't want to move. But if you but you can just like turn a 360 on yourself in one spot just by moving the left joystick without even hitting the gas and you'll yeah, spin. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, this is the first time I've used the stump grinder on uh, on the skid steer motor case the track one, the compact track loader. I guess it's still a skid steer, right? But a little different because it's got the tracks. But I like it. Usually I use the one that's mounted on the back of the tractor. This one's pretty good. Alright, I think we got them all. And I think that that will probably call it a day. I'll go back to the uh, yard. We'll put those logs into the production and get them chugging away and turned into firewood. And uh, I don't know, I'll probably load the uh, bales onto this trailer so we can run them in tomorrow. load fire well we can't load firewood we'll do that I guess in the next episode strap her down we'll back her out and around back to the yard this is a pretty productive day got a lot of firewood going we got uh, two trailer loads of uh, alfalfa hay sold. Bad news on the uh, <laughs> prices front for selling some of our harvest off, but overall pretty good. Appreciate you hanging out with me here in Alma, Missouri. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you don't subscribe yet, why not? Don't cost nothing. We'll see you next time.